Something as simple as wearing a watch, a watch that may soon be able to tell you if, they have, if you have the flu or COVID-19. Olathe-based Garmin teaming up with researchers to find out how biometric technology and its watches can predict an infection. In a story you'll only see on 41 Action News, here's reporter Charlie Keegan. And I've been training all, all spring. Scott Burgett doesn't leave home without his smartwatch. I watch things like my resting heart rate. Which makes sense for two reasons. He's training for a 10K, and he helped design the smartwatch at Garmin's Olathe headquarters. And it will give you all kinds of information about yourself, like how many steps have you had, what is your heart rate, what is your stress level. A sensor on the back of each of Garmin's smartwatches collects that information, and now researchers want to use the data to find if spikes in heart rate or a change in sleep patterns are signs you may have an infection in your body, such as COVID-19. We store that data for you. It's your data. Our system is like Fort Knox. We don't let anyone touch our customer data. Now Garmin is asking for your permission to send the data that it stores at its Olathe headquarters across the country to research projects like the ones in Duke University. So it really has been um, remarkable to see people um, volunteer their you know, um, data. Doctors Ryan Shaw and Jesslyn Dunn launched the program called Cove Identify. As part of their partnership with Garmin, Duke collects physiological data from Garmin, Apple, Fitbit, and other devices, and then pairs it with participant surveys to find out which biometrics could indicate a possible infection. The way that it, it might look in the future is that you might have sort of an alert system on your watch that would say, hey, you might be at high risk for being infected with COVID-19. We suggest that you go get tested. The doctors hope in time they'll be able to pinpoint exactly which biometrics relate to COVID and not the flu or another illness. I'm as anxious as you are to find out how it turned out. Back in Olathe, Burgett can't believe how far his team's work has come. When I first started on this, uh, we were just trying to get the heart rate sensor to work, and I thought that was a big deal. Now this little sensor could make a huge difference to slow the spread of a worldwide pandemic. In Olathe, Charlie Keegan, 41 Action News.